it's back into the busy schedule, heading off to see his manager Orlando before a radio interview at KFM. I'm looking forward to seeing Orlando and what he's got planned for me. And right now I'm just waiting for the bus to, to go there. Uh, the worst thing about it is when you sit next to somebody that's got their headphones on and they're listening to all this rap music and they're jigging away to the music with these bloody white things in their ears. And if they're not doing that, they've got their eyes fixed on the cell phone doing all this texting. But as an actual fact, they could be looking around them, observing the scenery and enjoying the ride. How are you? All right? Yeah. Pretty good acoustics in here, isn't it? It's not too bad. How yeah. you been? I've been good, Orlando. How are you? Not too bad. You ready for this uh, radio show? Yes, I am. Hey, mate, I'm sorry to hear that your cat died. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty rough on the kids, but we um, went out to Howick and, um, you know, kind of buried her where she was born, so yeah. So that was all right, actually. Yeah, on a brighter, brighter note, I actually purchased a brand new Tom Jones compilation. Uh, CD. I've got it here, actually. It's a four-CD set. Yeah, the, the only thing is, of course, um, this cost me 100... Uh, well, it's worth $100. I actually got it for 70 bucks, uh, which is really good value. But nevertheless, it's a huge hunk out of my, my benefit, you know? Yeah. So... Well, hopefully we can rustle up some, uh, you know, gigs off this radio. I'll definitely need yeah. some gigs, you know, to, to make up for it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, a hundred bucks is a lot of money, Wayne. Well, just to me, yeah. Yeah. Radio folks, we've got here Mr Wayne Anderson, the voice of Manurewa, the sexy singer of songs. How are you, Wayne? Very well. Do you want to stand up so we can hear you on the mic? Yeah, absolutely. So what have you brought in to, to play for us? Are you going to be playing us some songs this evening? Um, yeah. Who, um, who have you brought in? Yeah, well, Tom Jones is number one. Delilah was a huge, a huge hit for him in 1968. Sold over five million copies. As week. night falls on the city, Wayne educates the listeners about the merits of real music, while Orlando keeps focused on his marketing pitch. Uh, we're available for gigs, basically. $65, bottom line. Um, and, yeah, so if anyone's after a singer, perhaps, the, you know, the greatest singer to have ever come out of Manurewa, then... Uh, I've got a bit of a disheartening feeling about the, the whole scenario, really. Um, Orlando got a job at the moment um, in a bloody car park. I mean, uh, at least when he was working for the video shop, he was at least on the fringe of entertainment, in the entertainment business. But um, I think overall it's uh, sort of put a bit of a dampener on the whole situation. A bit disheartening, really. Coming up after the break, Wayne has a great idea. What a, a really good idea would be, would be to form my own radio station. And makes a joke. Actually, having met somebody from China, it reminds me of this joke I heard many years ago. Um, there's this Chinese couple who split up. It's a new day, and Manurewa's sexiest singer, inspired by last night's radio appearance, has called another meeting with his manager, Orlando. Ryan, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Orlando. Just, um, actually just finished cutting up some, uh, business cards to yeah. distribute. I've actually been thinking, um, what a, a really good idea would be, would be to form my own radio station. I think it's a fantastic idea, then. Who yeah. better to promote Wayne Anderson than Wayne Anderson on his own radio? Yeah, which so. is how Jim Reeves started. He was a radio announcer and he sang as what well. What did he sing? <clears throat> what did he sing? Yeah. Oh, he'll have to go, I love you because, welcome to my world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Distant drums. Yeah. Yeah. So same thing, except with Wayne. Yeah. Precisely. I mean, I've tried this idea myself with people coming to the house, saying, do you know who this is? What do you think of this song? Have you heard Tom Jones sing country before? Did you know Tom Jones sang hip-hop? Did you know Tom Jones sang heavy metal? People don't know that sort of thing. 
Does Tom Jones sing heavy metal? He borders on it, yeah. In fact, if we set up the radio station right here in this room, people could really look in off the street and see us operating the, the radio station. Because basically this is the musical hub of Manureba right here. I've thought about some names, but I haven't really um, struck upon a decent one yet. Um, it has to, the name has to reflect the type of music and my, my image. So obviously it's got to be sophisticated and classy and upmarket and good quality music. Quality radio? Radio Live is a good one, but that's all, that already exists. Mm. Maybe um, Radio Voice, uh, Radio Singer, Radio Singers of Songs, perhaps. What we should really do is uh, all of us just put some names in the hat and uh, just... Uh, and draw one out. Draw one out. As long as it reflects my image and the music that we feature. With the name decision still up in the air, Orlando has organised a lunch meeting with one of his regular clients to help get the radio station off the ground. Actually, the reason I've asked you uh, to lunch, CJ, is that, uh, you know, the singer Wayne yep. that, that, that I manage, um, he's got this idea for setting up a radio station and, um, you know, after the work you did at the car park fixing our computer system, I thought maybe we could be the man for the technical details. Yeah, um, what kind of radio station is it? Well, uh, I think Wayne's kind of more knows what he wants technically, but, you know, something he can broadcast from home with. OK. Something that'll reach, you know, pretty much all of Manurewa, South Auckland. Well, it sounds interesting. I think I can do that. But, um, actually, um, I'm not really happy about the... You call me, you're calling me CJ. So, CJ? Yeah, can you call me my real name, Chen Ye? Chen Ye. Yeah, Chen Ye. It's Chen Ye. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. OK. Yeah, it must be kind of um, frustrating being a new country and mm. having a weird name, you know, difficult name to pronounce. But, yeah, Ching Yi. From now on, it's Ching Yi, OK? Cool. What have you got there? It's chicken feet. Can you see? And it's really nice. Do you want to try one? That doesn't even look edible, CJ. Ten year. Two days later, Wayne and Orlando set off for a radio station meeting with CJ. But first, it's time for breakfast. Here we go. So what do you want for breakfast, Wayne? OK, a sausage roll or a savoury or a pie might be good. Yeah. These ones here, they're piping hot, are they? Um, they're not lukewarm, are they? They're really hot. They're really hot. Oh, that's good, because I don't like lukewarm food. And, uh, yeah, I'll have... Um... Yeah, a happy face, thank you. Right, here's your pies. Savory. Right, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. What time is Orlando? I think it's just about 10. Oh, here we go. The next one is 10 o'clock. Here you go. We've only got three minutes to wait. How about that? Beatles, right? The Beatles. CJ. Hi. This is Mr. Wayne Anderson, the man I've been telling you about. Hi. Hi, CJ. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've just come uh, to sort out a few details regarding, uh, you know, setting up the radio station. Oh, okay. We'd basically be operating it from my home, because my home contains the large record collection. In fact, it almost looks like a radio station. Sometimes I play the music fairly loud with the windows mm. open. People walk past and they say, is this a radio station or is this a record shop or do you live here? And I say, well, all three, really because I've got about a three and a half octave vocal range and there's sort of only a handful of people in the world that's got that. Sure. Get and um, blast. Uh, you sing from the diaphragm, basically, rather than here. So it's like... That's what the, the station's really all about, CJ. Yeah. So how big would you like it? Pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Practically all of Manureba and most of South Auckland, perhaps. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. So, uh... Yeah, cool. Yeah. Deal? She's a deal, mate. Put it there, CJ. It's two years. Yeah, I reckon that went better than I expected. Yeah, it seemed to. Actually, having met somebody from China, it reminds me of this joke I heard many years ago. Um, there's this Chinese couple who split up. She went back to Peking, he went back to Wanking. 
not a bad one, Wayne. Not a bad one at all. Time for a break as Wayne reflects on the unique skill set that their new Asian partner will bring to the station. Well, I think we're on the right track there, Orlando, because at least um, they are particularly good at doing the smaller jobs, you know, the more sort of fiddly technical jobs, you know, the smaller jobs, that sort of thing. So they're particularly good at that type of thing, really, aren't they? Quite technologically minded, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that, you know. Yeah, but once it's up and running, who's going to be involved, you know? Once it's up and running, I've got some, probably some of my friends. Maybe Christian might be good for sport. Yeah, yeah. Raymond might He's be an good outdoorsy for... kind of a guy, isn't he? You know? Raymond might be good for um, uh, reading local news. Mm -hmm. mm, Faye might be good for um, the fashion, you know, the costumes or the clothing that the announcers wear. Yeah, true. Although um, it's probably not that important what the announcers wear on the radio. <laughs> Next week on Wayne Anderson, Glory Days, Christian and Wayne christen the radio station. I'd say the eyes have it. The eyes have it, totally. Faye asserts her authority over the business cards. Get back to work. And CJ drops a bombshell. Unfortunately, it will cost you $8,000 now. It's a lot of money.